um, it, you have a very strong sense of, of a suspended um, form above you, and you have this very soft carpeting on the floor, um, and a very, a very wide space. Um, when I designed this installation, you know, it was this incredible crapshoot um, because it had a lot of color in it, and it's a room that's supposed to take a video. And I had a, a kind of gambler's bet with myself that um, if you fill a room with all of the same color, that the effect is like black and white. And um, when we were installing <laughs> this piece, and for the first time, and we got the color on the walls and put the ceiling in, it was like Ronald McDonald had thrown up in the room and it was really horrible. And I thought for sure I had made the most expensive public mistake on earth, <coughs> um, which also involves people staying up all night to suspend these fucking cables because the ceiling was 18 feet high. Mm -hmm. And when we put the carpet in, um, luckily the room um, kind of had its own logic again, thank God. And um, one of the art handlers who, we also had two days to install this work, so one of the art handlers that helped to install the work said um, that this was um, the perfect place to watch a really strange porn and lose your mind in. And, <laughs> and what the hell was my film about? <laughs> and, um, and so then we screened the film for them and watched it in this space. Um, so the next slide. And this is from the opposite view of the room. And you can see it really, it's like sitting in the middle of nail polish, right? It's just um, very, very strange. Um, so I'm gonna give a brief introduction to the film. The film is a half an hour long, and there are texts from two different um, sources in the film. The, the first is um, from an edition of Against Nature uh, by Huismans that was um, published 20 years after the original publication of, of the novel. And um, Huismans had, uh, since, um, since originally writing the novel, had, had returned to the church, to the Catholic Church. And although he allowed <coughs> the book to be published, he wrote um, an introduction to the novel that was an apology for writing it and for writing La Bar. And he, um, he said in this introduction that um, the mistake that he had made in writing this novel was that um, what he wanted from the novel was um, an, an image of, of, of the unexplainable, of the mysterious sublime, and that he had been looking in, in the incorrect place for this, um, this image. He had been looking you know, towards satanic ritual or towards decadence um, to the uh, against Nature House, you know, the, with these crazy plant collections and um, kind of esoteric, um, uh, fetishistic um, collections that, that happen in this house. And that in, instead, um, he should have been looking towards the ritual of, of the church and, and towards God. And that the ritual of the Catholic Church um, contained within it this um, this kind of mystery, um, that the sublime mystery that he was looking for. And for me, I thought that this was, um, this um, simultaneity of, um, of the sublime that he creates by, um, by putting this introduction and then going ahead and publishing the book as well, um, was something that, that felt um, connected to uh, these ecclesiastical texts, which were written by Jonathan Edwards um, in the New England colonies. Um, and he, he wrote a, uh, Jonathan Edwards was um, a, a preacher who was known for um, his deadpan delivery of, of his sermons. And his sermons that were so beautifully written and so poetically written that they would um, drive his, um, his, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm living in Germany, so I lose my English sometimes. What do you call it with the when you have a church and then you have the congregation, congregation. right? So the congregation drive the congregation into frenzy, and they would um, they would go into fits and fall on the ground and and, and confess um, sins that they just thought of and hadn't even hadn't even lived and hadn't even performed. Um, and I thought that this um, this kind of ecstasy. Um, uh, you know, by um, by the conjuring of, of the presence of, of a force, um, you know, it, it had this this parallel to to this apology. 
So um, the two texts in the, in the piece are um, from this, this Riesmann's text, this, this uh, introduction for Against Nature. And there is um, as a text in there that's pulled from, from Sinners in the Hands of an Angry God. Um, the film itself is um, set in 1740 in New England, which is when this sermon was written. Um, and it stars uh, the same <coughs> and Annika Trost, who are in my favorite rock band, The Cobra Killers, which you don't need to know, but um, they look really cool in the film, so I gotta tell you that. Um, the film's a half an hour long, and I think it's distracting <coughs> if I sit here like this. So if it's okay with you guys, I'm gonna go sit over there and turn off this light, and then we can relax and really focus. So. Why don't you sit at the beginning? Perfect.